What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Protect the Bag, a show that gives you financial insights from, that's right, a different perspective. Or shall we say, with a little bit of soul. Now, I'm your host, Lecrae. Let's get started. So if we're going to talk about protecting the bag, we have to talk about getting that debt down and clear. Now, debt is something that we all know. I mean, we've all been there. I personally grew up thinking that credit was something they gave to you because they liked you. I mean, come on, we all had those teachers who were grade on a curve because the test was hard. I mean, it was kind of like a gift. But a credit line of $10,000, that's a lot different. You got to pay that back. And see, I racked up crazy interest and fees not knowing I had to pay all that money back. So here's the truth. There's no bag if it's owned by somebody else. All right, check out this stat. In 2020, Experian said there were 497 million credit card accounts in the United States with the average credit card balance of $5,315. Where's all this money coming from? And how are we trillions of dollars in debt and people can still take out credit lines? That's crazy. Now look, I know what you're thinking and yes, it is all wild and crazy, but let's look deeper into our own backyard. So here's the thing. I wanna teach you two ways to pay off your debt, also known as debt repayment strategies. Now, these are debt avalanche and snowball methods. When you're in debt, they own it all, even your pocketbooks. So here's another stat for you. The average total debt in the US per consumer as of 2021 is, drum roll please, $93,583 according to Experian data. That's a lot of money when you consider there's 330 million Americans and the average debt is 93K per consumer. All right, now back to these payment strategies, okay? The avalanche repayment method. Now this is when you pay off your debts on cards with the highest interest rates first. You're gonna put the extra money towards your debt with the highest interest rate after paying the minimum balances on all your other debts every month. This is gonna save you the most money in interest expenses in the long run, thereby protecting your bag. All right, that's a lot, I know, but stay with me. I got one more and I promise we're done. So the other approach is called the snowball method. This focuses on paying off your smallest debt first and then taking those previous payments and moving toward the next smallest debt. The momentum is called snowballing your payments as you pay off each card. Now the major advantage of the debt snowball strategy is that you'll gain momentum and you'll stay motivated. It's kind of like when I go to the gym and I'm feeling it and I'm seeing my abs start to show up, I start getting motivated and now I want to leave the donuts and the biscuits alone. But just remember this, with the snowball method, you pay more interest overall than the avalanche repayment method. It's kind of like paying off a bookie that you owe the most money to, except there's no guns and no bats. All right, class is over. Now, what I need you to do is check out this segment right here to see what I'm talking about. No, 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 I love you too, mom. But you're gonna have to call my lawyer back. You signed that paperwork. Okay, I'll see you in court then. Well, if you don't talk to my lawyer, I can't help you, because I have a client with me. How's it going? Me, I'm doing great, obviously. You, obviously, not so much. You're in that chair, and when people are in that chair, they're at the end of their rope, and they need me, so hmm. you're not doing so good. What do you need from me? Um, well, uh, I got myself into a little bit of debt. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Accumulated. You mean you accumulated some debt. debt and you need my help. Happens all the time. Yes. I get it. I get it. Ten minutes ago, did you see that kid in the parking lot? Big smile on his face. No. No? Time's not important. Ten minutes ago, a kid walked out of here. Can't believe he missed him because he probably had the biggest smile on his face. New man. Came in here, you know, it was my, my sister's boyfriend, you know, nephew, friend of my uh, my son, something. Uh, he went to summer camp with, uh, not important. Yo, you are not important. Oh, <laughs> uh, Abra, we're, we're good. good. Yes, don't worry about it, big guy. Uh, <laughs> all righty. <laughs> That's Abra. You know how we call him Abra? His name's Mike, but you know how we call him Abra? He makes things disappear. Abra, Kadabra. Kadabra, Jinx, you owe me, not important. We'll handle the paperwork later. Look, the kid buys a bunch of stuff online, runs his credit score into the ground, walks in here with a 500. 10 minutes with me, walks out with a 750. Wow. Yeah, and the score is not important. 
What's important is he walked out with a 750. After seeing me, his life's never gonna be the same. His life will never be the same, that's a guarantee. Your life, never be the same. And don't get me wrong, you know, he's not gonna be able to snowball or avalanche his way out of this deal I got him in, all right? He's pretty locked down in the doghouse for a long time. But I can't bring the hammer down on him too hard. He's six or seven degrees away from me and family. But you, on the other hand, I'm gonna take care of you real good. So what do you, what do you say? You wanna, you wanna dance? Let's do business. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take my chances elsewhere. I'm sorry. Elsewhere, what do you, where are you gonna go? You gonna go to Experian? <laughs> I mean, come on. Get out of my office. Credit card debt was owned by the mafia, I think less people would take out cards and they for sure would be on time with those payments. Now, we already talked about budgeting and two different debt repayment strategies. But listen, if those options are too much, you can always check online with the National Foundation for Credit Counseling and agencies for debt management programs. My opinion, let your bank recommend them. Now check out this conversation with myself and my good friend. When it comes to being able to help friends or when it comes to helping family, I'm okay with being able to help them as long as I know that I'm still good. Because mm -hmm. I love seeing the best in people. I love being able to invest and help people. But if it's gonna be able to take me to a place where I lose out on my mission and my goal and what I love, mm -hmm. then I, I can't do it. Yeah. You know, at least not until I get to that place where I can help. So what I used to do when I came to the league was I would take percentages out. Okay. And so you know how tithing, you know, they say 10%. So if I was making like 20K because I did an appearance for marketing or something, like literally I'd be like, I got 2,000 to do whatever I want. Okay. And so if I give somebody a thousand, I'm like, now you only got a thousand until you mm. get that next payment. And so then all of a sudden I started doing that. If I got 15,000 coming in for another thing, then I'd be like, all right, let me take just a thousand out. You know, so if I want to help people, if I want to go to the casino, you got a thousand to spend. Okay. You know, so I would, I kind of would do stuff like that, but it made it easier for me. But the thing that you hear a lot of players say, and I'm gonna say the same thing is, I'm not using my salary. Like mm. I'm using the money that I'm making off the field. Okay. And so when you're able to make money off the field consistently, you're able to just live off of that and you don't even touch the millions or the hundreds of thousands that you're getting through football and you're able to allow that to grow and you're able to invest that and stuff like that. And so I'm more so spending money off the field than I am on the field. And then when I do get a second contract, which I was blessed to get one, that's when I bought my first house. That's when I bought my first car. So I played for three years mm -hmm. before I even bought my first house. Mm -hmm. I'm going into year four, I bought my first house. Once year four was over, I bought my first car. I didn't buy my second car until after this past season. That was my sixth season. Wow. You know, so for me, it was being able to work and move slowly. Yeah. I like your style, man. I, I, I like his style, because I think a lot like this, man. Now that was an insightful conversation, right? Some people make money to spend so they don't have to worry about debt. Now y'all know what time it is. It's time to hear what the streets gotta say. Take it to my man on the streets. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Protect the Bag with your man, Lecrae, and I'm here with... Mustafa. Mustafa. And Khalif. Mitch. Mitch, where you from? Originally from France. France? He's from France. What part of France? Uh, eastern part of France. The eastern part of France. I'm from the south side of France. Did you know that? Uh, Drake or Kanye? Kanye. Kanye or Drake? Uh, right now, Drake. Drake. He's a certified lover boy. Okay. Why do you hate Drake? I don't hate Drake. <laughs> Kanye just got a bigger fan base. Kanye has a bigger what? Fan base. A bigger fan base. Okay. Right now, you know, if I had to choose, it would be Drake. Why, why do you think Drake is the sexiest man alive? Uh, I don't know. There's something about his, his, uh, you know, his eyes. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Kanye gives you $5 million. What you going to do with it? Uh, I'll fund it towards my boxing club. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll put all the money towards, invest it towards myself. You know what I'm saying? This just turned into a commercial for your boxing club. Go ahead and tell us about it. Kanye gave you a million dollars. Oh, one million? It's not even that much money. I just invested it um, in real estate. That's it. I'm not, I'm not going to touch it. 
My man just told you that a million dollars is nothing. It's trash. It's nothing. Million dollars? <laughs> peasants. <laughs> you millionaire peasants. <laughs> I'm a youth boxing trainer as well as an adult trainer. I train youth, youth from six and up as well as uh, adults. Uh, it doesn't matter what age you is. It doesn't matter uh, how fit you are. I do do uh, weight loss as well. So, you know, come check me out real fast. Come check him out at his boxing club. Credit. Credit cards. Are you are you down with that? No, you don't, you don't need no credit cards. Just buy everything. Cash, that's it. All right, so you got $5 million, and you put all $5 million into your boxing club? Is that what's going to happen? I'll probably invest, like, probably, what, three mil into it because it'll grow way quicker than what I probably expect. What are we doing with the other two mil, dog? I'm probably using it for myself. What are we blowing a bag on, dog? <laughs> I'm not selling my girl, my boo thing, you know what I'm saying? Do you save? Ah, uh, I try. <laughs> You don't have anything to save for. I mean, you need you 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 just told me a million dollars ain't nothing. So you know what? It's, it's, it's just the reality. What about a budget? Would you create a budget? Of course, you have to. most definitely. Is Hot Cheetos in the budget? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it in my budget? This interview's over. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. They don't like Hot Cheetos. I'm done. I don't think that a million dollars is a lot of money. It's really not. Like with a million dollars, you probably get like. Four, five thousand dollars a month after taxes. Uh, is anybody you want to shout out? You hot Cheeto haters. Oh, um, I would like a shout out. Uh, my Instagram is two hours later. That was the longest Instagram handle I ever heard in my life. What? Get, uh, I, do we have enough room on the screen for his Instagram handle? Okay. Uh, I would like to shout out myself at Royalty Boxing Club. Y'all go follow and get yourself a little weight loss or you know a boxing training. You know what I'm saying? Done and done. Let's get to it. Protect the bag. Thank y'all, brothers. Well, the streets have spoken. And <laughs> look, people, debt is not a thing to play with. Debt is not just for wannabe rich folks. Broke college students can get into debt, too. And if you follow any person on the gram who has more followers than you, chances are you may go into debt trying to be someone you're not. So just be you. Well, that's our time. I'm Lecrae, and this is Protect the Bag. Until next time.